Nicholas was born to a wealthy Christian family in Myra, now located in modern Turkey. He was a man of good deeds. He was a very helpful person. When he became the bishop, he always wished to see his people satisfied and happy. He would always go out of his way to help them. He traveled day and night to ensure that his people were happy and safe. There was a poor man who had three daughters. The man was so poor that he did not have enough money for a dowry. So his daughters couldn't get married. A dowry is a sum of money paid to the bridegroom by the bride's parents on the wedding day. Nicholas came to know of their poverty and wanted to save them from going astray. One night, Nicholas secretly dropped a bag of gold down the chimney and into the house. This meant that the oldest daughter was then able to be married. The bag fell into a stocking that had been hung by the fire to dry. This was not the only time, but this was repeated again later with the second daughter. Finally, before the third daughter was married, the family was determined to discover the person who had given them money. The father secretly hid by the fire every evening until he caught Nicholas dropping in a bag of gold. Nicholas begged the man not to tell anyone what he had done because he did not want to bring attention to himself. But soon the news got out and he was known to be a person who gave secret gifts to those people in need. So from then onwards, when anyone received a secret gift, it was thought that it was from Nicholas. He continued to help people in need. Nicholas was exiled and later put in prison during the persecution of the Christians by the Emperor Diocletian. Because of his kindness, Nicholas was made a saint. Many countries, especially ones in Europe, celebrate St. Nicholas Day on 6th December. In the Netherlands and some other European countries, children leave clothes or shoes out on the 5th December on St. Nicholas Eve to be filled with presents. They also believe that if they leave some hay and carrots in their shoes for his horse, they will be left some sweets. The name Santa Claus came from St. Nicholas' Dutch name, Cinder Claus. Santa Claus, the American version of St. Nicholas, originated from the legends of St. Nicholas. Santa is believed to travel across the globe with his eight flying reindeers, including Rudolph, who is a red-nosed reindeer. In some parts of the world, children are given gifts only if they behave well throughout the year. Or else, Santa may just leave twigs in their shoes. This helps parents actually to keep their kids away from mischief. Santa's ritual of giving gifts throws light on his compassionate character. St. Nicholas is not only the saint of children, but also of sailors. One story tells of him helping some sailors that were caught in a bad storm off the coast of Turkey. The storm was raging around them and all the men were terrified that their ship would sink beneath the giant waves. They prayed to St. Nicholas to help them. Suddenly, he was standing on the deck before them. He ordered the sea to be calm. The storm died away and they were able to sail their ship safely to the port. Today, Santa Claus has become part and parcel of our Christmas celebrations. 
He signifies the virtue of being always ready to help people in need. And no matter what you call him, Santa is the love and compassion that Christmas stands for. Christmas brings us the good news of God's compassionate love through the incarnation of his son Jesus. The Lord is compassion and love. He is Emmanuel. He is God with us.